good morning. So um, I work for an RTO that delivers nationally recognised training and professional development uh, across Australia and throughout Asia. So therefore we have a need for uh, courses in multiple languages. So I'm curious who else uh, needs to do courses in other languages and or might want to do courses in, in multiple languages. So a slight bit of re relevance. Oh, that's my minion, of course. You'd <laughs> Of course you need to. Um, and I probably should say at the outset that most of the work on here is actually his, so uh, you, got the, uh, you got the accolades, mate. So uh, our original way of doing this was to produce the course in English, which is our native language, and then duplicate the course, uh, swap in the English for the translations we provided with, and then have all these multiple courses. Uh, associated with all the complexities of um, enrolment and then people who wanted to start in Chinese and then transition to English and then wanted uh, the, the resources in both languages and um, it was a bit of a uh, dog's breakfast. So ideally what we wanted to see was uh, a single course and that the people could choose what uh, language they wanted the content and the assessments to be uh, shown to them in. So this is, uh, well, now possible. Um, and the first bit of this is already in um, core, which is the um, display language meeting menu settings. Uh, so if you tick that, it shows you a language menu at the top and people can choose from a number of languages. They can choose from the languages that you've, language packs that you've installed um, through the admin interface. So it's as simple as uh, selecting um, a range of these here and installing. And then once you do that, in that language menu, there's all the various uh, options to do. So these language packs have translations for certain uh, uh, core features uh, in the interface. So if you chose, uh, I haven't got my good glasses on, I think that might be uh, traditional Chinese, uh, then it, what it has translations for get, get uh, swapped out. So the breadcrumbs and the admin block in this case. But that's nowhere near enough for what we need. We need all of our content uh, to show um, in the various languages. So the other part that you need for this is this multi-language content filter. So filters uh, work on text blocks uh, throughout the Moodle and do stuff uh, with the, the text in there that they find. You can do all sorts of things, uh, but we wanted to do the translations for us. So you have to install it, enable it. Um, surprisingly, I didn't work out you had to enable it uh, for quite a while. So enable it and make it work on, in this case, content and headings, because you're going to have headings in the course that you want um, people to see in the different languages. And then it works um, by looking into the text in language blocks throughout the course and looking for uh, pairs of uh, tags opening and closing tags, and then it will display the content in between the tags that match the language that you've chosen. So the, uh, the English one there has EN, that's the clue what it is, and then traditional Chinese. So it would show what's in between those pairs. Anything outside those pairs uh, shows up no matter what language they've chosen. So you can put um, some stuff inside these which gets swapped in and out according to the language chosen, or it can be present in all um, parts of the course no matter what. For example, an image is what you might want to have showing no matter what. So then how do you uh, turn these on in um, an edit screen? So in a text box, Addo has a plugin that will put these pairs in for you if you wanted to, or you can just type them in yourself. Uh, so to get an English pair, you choose that, and you end up with those two sets of curly braces, and you put your content in between them, and then when the English is chosen, that's what shows up. So then for the next bit, you put in the uh, next pair, and so on and so on. So when you change from English to traditional, uh, it shows English shows the one on the left and then the one on the right. So one thing to be careful of is uh, that we learned very quickly <laughs> was to uh, be careful of any uh, extra characters or, or spaces or uh, carriage returns in between those pairs because as I said, they'll show up no matter what um, language is chosen. 
So in this case, uh, I've put in a couple of highlighted pink area there um, of uh, extra text. So in the English one, that's fine. It's sitting at the bottom, doesn't matter. But in the traditional, it's uh, sitting at the top and it pushes it down, which upsets the, the um, uh, display of the page. So if you're just working with uh, two languages, that's fairly straightforward. Uh, you can cut and paste it without going too crazy. But once you get more than that, it's kind of comp complicated to manage it all in your head. So uh, to help us along with this, we, um, we made a spreadsheet. Uh, I know you can't read this very much. I'm going to zoom in in a minute. But the, essentially, the white columns there are um, where you put your, the various languages. Uh, you put the code for that language at the top, and then in the grey columns, that uh, creates the curly brace pairs for you, and the yellow one on the left um, kind of combines it all together without any uh, unnecessary spaces and what have you. So that just makes us it makes our lives a bit easier. Uh, there's a, a look at um, the concatenated uh, text uh, to, that you would then copy out of that yellow box and put into the the text area that you're working on. So we can provide these templates uh, to the translators where we give them the English version and duplicate that into the, in this case it's a column of traditional, and then tell them just translate, replace the English in your column with your um, text. Uh, don't touch any uh, HTML uh, characters there. And then the final thing when you combine them all is uh, you get that, um, that uh, thing that you need to paste in and make it all work. So in case you want that um, template, uh, you can download it there for the next few weeks or month until I remember to take it away. Um, and then just adjust it, use it for yourselves. So I'm pretty sure that's probably seven minutes. Eight minutes. Perfect. Thank you.